even though my students have read their story and highlighted parts where Jack was either smart or lucky, to me it's still really important to get the evidence out of the story and into an organized format. While the evidence is in the story, it's hard to really make a good assessment to write a good claim. So um, what I had them do is separate the smart evidence on one side of the paper and the lucky evidence on the other side. And just for fun, they drew Jack on the beanstalk. Um, some kids didn't do it because to them drawing isn't fun, and I'm fine with that. My main goal was that they could come up with some reasons for each. So this student gave three reasons why Jack was smart, trading Milky White, she thought was smart, cutting down the beanstalk when he got caught, and um, left when the ogre was sleeping. On the other hand, Jack was lucky because he didn't get caught. He was lucky because he escaped and his mom got rich. Jack and his mom got rich. He escaped again and the ogre fell down. So just from looking at this paper, the student can say, well, I have a little bit more evidence that Jack is lucky. Is that what I think? I have more evidence to support it. Is that what my claim will be?